bottom stuff the layer to me um, some of the most honorable, honorable some of the most admirable some of the most uh, um, resilient are almost at odds with each other, you know, on the one hand, at least for me, I'm, I'm, my distinctions will be the philosophers and the astronomers, now, obviously, you can be both, that's fine, you know, that's freaking wonderful, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trudge through this stuff, yeah, it's one of my own walks, I used to collect bottles here. No. Enough talking about me. <laughs> Need another time. I'm sure there'll be more times. Hopefully. Hopefully there will be uh, next time. Times after. Anyway. So. People. <coughs> people trying to figure this thing out. We have kind of a... Ah, different messages. For, in a lot of ways, I see, personally me, I see the, the uh, science and astronomy crowd. We're here on Earth. We know where we are. And we're looking out. And we, we want. We want what's out there. And we're planning. And we're, you know, we're prepping ourselves to get it. And then I see sort of, uh, you know, the philosophy crowd who's having the same kind of, you know, they're observing the same process, you know, and they're aware of it, but they're looking in, they're looking at the earth, they're looking at life, they're looking at the mind, you know, they're looking at, you know, they're looking into, 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 um, they're pushing inwards. I don't know, you know. Yeah, obviously we'll gain things. We'll, we'll gain things. 
I'm trying to think of a good sort of a analogy or diagram or sort of thing. Kind of look at it like a, a growing bell curve. You know, you got this little bump in the middle, and these little feelers, these little uh, door stops, these wedges on either end. And they're kind of pushing their way out. You know, and either way we look at it, whether we look in or we look out. Middle is going to continue to grow, and, and we'll gain. We'll make gains. That's that's what we want, right? That's what life wants. We want more. We want to make more gains. Whether it is in, you know, and to me, here's kind of the the, the problem with uh, the philosophy, sort of psychology, sort of inward push. Okay, we have, we have what, I don't remember what the number is, 26 septillion, I, I don't remember, you have to forgive me, 26, 26, I don't remember, it's like 26 um, exponents, I think it's 24. Um, I don't even remember if it was tons of kilograms. Not important. There's only so much matter. I mean, it will be important for the calculations. Don't get me wrong. And for figuring things out for planning. But, for now, there's the earth. There's all this matter. And it's a specific amount. And there's specific amounts of everything. Okay? There are specific amounts of calcium. Not specific amount. I mean, there is a limited amount of calcium to make shells out of. There is limited amount. So, we can sit, we can, we can make better and better use of less and less. I mean, we're not less, just we're going to get more, you know, as long as we assume that we are going to continue to reach more, push out from more, to gain more, to acquire more, to, uh, make more a part of our biosphere, technosphere, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, um, yeah we're always going to continue to get more. But if we become content with the microscopic, you know, like uh, some really cool awesome fossils, you know, especially after winter, after uh, the ice has picked everything up, and the seeds. I'd love to take a stab at the name of that fossil, or of that organism. Uh, it's beautiful. It's snapped in some ways, and I'm proud enough. Anyway, there's so much. If, like, let's say we do, uh, we do these, um, not so much quantum computing, but we have processors, you know, like, like cell phone, a little device, really, really tiny devices. And we do amazing things with them. We make them a thousand, a million times. Um, we, we, we use it more uh, efficiently, more effectively. Um, life, a lot of ways life does work like that. You know, cells and stuff, but... I 
things to think about. I wish I could get my point out so that you knew or had some idea what was going through my head. Uh, overall, what I want to say is um, if we become um, happy, if we become content, if we become, if we accept these smaller and smaller things and doing more with less, we will, we will have less of a desire to push outward and to, uh, you know, like we, we humans, we don't really have to do most of the work on this planet. There, there's so many other, as far as mass goes, you know, we're so, so, uh, insignificant by volume, but, you know, we're making up for that with technology and population. We're getting there. But, I mean, like, it's trees, plants, uh, in general, grass. I mean, a lot of other organisms. We got us out, outmatched. As far as the, the chemistry that's going, that's occurring, The, the terraforming, if you want to call it that, we call it terraforming, terraforming the earth, I always, I always love that, I get a kick out of that, every time I think about that, um, we are, how about bioforming, bioforming, We're bioforming the earth that isn't ready, or that isn't yet. Um, similar, to integrated. too much time looking inward and not enough time looking out. And, you know, and you, you can't just make up for it. You know, I tried, and I've always been a, a, a looker out, an outward looker. Uh, you know, extra so perspective. What would be a good word for that? Introspection, extro, exospection, extrospection. Let's see if I can set this up. Or should I just give you a view? Complaint. <laughs> my argument, my uh, my gripe, my uh, 
Whatever. The thing that annoys me about humans who are dealing with the tiny, um, some, some, you know, they are, they are content. They are, uh, they're con contention? That's not right. Content? Contention? They're, um, they're content. Uh, not just what we have now, but with having less, you know, they, they see what life has as too much, as too much already, and that is just not true, it's not true at all. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. In it's so it's so difficult without you know, I know so many different people. So many different personalities. Um, especially thank you. Thank you to the internet um, for allowing me to just see what other types of humans are possible. Um, you know, <laughs> we read about these things, these humans, in books. In history, but we don't always get to meet the good ones. But I feel I found some really good ones. You know, a lot of good ones. And sure, a a good a good number of them. You know, the ones that are hiding in universities. And not hiding, by the way. This is where the minds go to learn. So, I think they're, they're at the watering, watering hole? The water hole. They're at the, you know, that's where the good stuff comes and goes. You know, and where it's, where the hunger is most efficiently satiated. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, universities. Oh my god, just learning. Learning. Um, I love it. And I love teachers. And I love people who want it. Want, they want to get more. They want to learn more. And they want to bring it. You know? Like fresh kill. Jeez. talk about that. Death, killing, murder, um, food. Yeah, it's so convenient. But, I mean, when you think of it just as chemistry, it's not so bad, you know. But when you start to put things on it, things on the chemistry, like life and uh, feelings, emotions, consciousness, sentience, those kind of words. When you start to put that to the chemistry, it does kind of sound bad. And oh, I can only imagine the vast majority of humans hearing this, you know, be like, fucking psycho. It's crazy, right? It, <laughs> chemistry? You think this is all just chemistry? What are you, nuts? We're alive. 
we think, we have feelings, we care. <laughs> Yeah, you can have all that stuff. It really helps. It makes getting things better. But it also limits us. I'm not saying go out and just, you know, start eating each other's brains. But, <laughs> I can completely see, you know, the whole zombie thing. Just as I can see the alien thing. All these fascinations with all these different things. Um, amazing vampires. You know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I see it see why life uh, has this obsession humans you know why we, we like these things you know they're important and and they give rise to good uh, good questions and good answers and good good directions good changes good good uh, not altercations alterations alterations in our uh, velocity and trajectory, you know, our vectors, you know, those, those quantities, and uh, uh, just a couple days ago, I think it was a couple days ago, Piero had uh, a hangout, and there was this guy, you know, um, Miguel, I think it was, on there, just, you might not know any of this stuff, but, um, said was really good, you know, said a lot of good things, kind of bummed that said something else, but, oh, come on, please, ah, right there, oh, it's, just, it's fading away now, um, vectors,